Hello, I'm David Barrett, and I'm going to walk you through the video images captured of me in the MRI while bending on the harmonica. If you haven't already done so, read the detailed paper I wrote with the same title as this video, available for free at bluesharmonica.com. There's also a four-part video where Dr. Peter Egbert and I talk about this study. All right, let's get started. This is me in the MRI without a harmonica saying E. This humped position of the tongue very closely approximates the position of the tongue in the bending process. I'm now playing a C harmonica and holding a three-draw half-step bend with a tongue block embouchure. Note how high the tongue is to the roof of the mouth, which is required to create the anterior chamber responsible for bending. This shows the position of the tongue for the three-draw half-step bend B-flat. Note the smaller anterior chamber. And this is the three-draw whole step bend A. Note that the anterior chamber is now larger, which is required to create the lower pitched bend. And now the three-draw minor third bend A flat. The humped position of the tongue is not changed much, but the chamber is larger due to the more concave shape of the front middle of the tongue. Here's video footage of the full range bend from B to A flat. I'll overdub me playing the harmonica on the second pass so you can hear what the bend sounds like. Here's slow motion of the same image. And now the same full range bend with the pucker embouchure. And again in slow motion. Here's the image of an eight blow bend with the tongue block embouchure. and the same for the pucker embouchure. And now bonus footage of me performing the vibrato. This is not in real time, so this is not a perfect representation, but gives you an idea of what the vibrato looks like. Note the movement of the pharynx. Well, that's it. I hope this study has helped you to understand the bending process more fully. If you'd like to develop your bending skills, I'll be happy to work with you at bluesharmonica.com.